The three macronutrients that provide energy or calories to our bodies are carbohydrates, protein, and fats. Calculating the calories from each of these in a particular food item is slightly different. Let's start with fats. Fats provide 9 calories per gram. So to calculate the number of calories from fat for a particular food item, it would be calories from fat equals the total amount of grams of fat times 9. For instance, if you eat a chocolate bar and on the nutrition label it lists total fat at 13 grams. To calculate the number of calories from fat, it would be 13 grams of fat times 9 which equals 117 calories from fat. Now for protein. Protein provides 4 calories per gram. So to calculate the number of calories from protein for a particular food item, it would be calories from protein equals the amount of grams of protein times 4. For instance, if you eat a protein bar and on the nutrition label it lists protein at 17 grams, to calculate the number of calories from protein, it would be 17 grams of protein times 4, which equals 68 calories from protein. Now for carbohydrates, and this is a little bit more complicated. When it comes to calories from carbohydrates, to make things easier, we need to break down carbohydrates into three different types. Regular carbohydrates, fiber, and sugar alcohols. Each of these provide different caloric amounts. Here is an example nutrition facts label. For a one serving size, we see for total carbohydrates, it lists 17 grams. This 17 grams of total carbohydrates includes regular carbohydrates, fiber, and sugar alcohols. To find the number of regular carbohydrates, we need to deduct the 6 grams of fiber and the 6 grams of sugar alcohols that the label lists. Regular carbohydrates provide 4 calories per gram. So the formula to calculate the number of calories from regular carbohydrates is calories from regular carbohydrates equals the quantity total grams of carbohydrates minus the grams of fiber minus the grams of sugar alcohols times 4. From our example nutrition label, we have 17 grams minus 6 grams minus 6 grams, which equals 5 grams. So 5 grams of regular carbohydrates. 5 grams of regular carbohydrates times 4 calories per gram equals 20 calories. So we have 20 calories from regular carbohydrates. Now for fiber. Fiber is a type of carbohydrate that is not digestible in the way other carbohydrates are digested. And there are two types of fiber, soluble fiber and insoluble fiber. Insoluble fiber does not provide any calories. However, soluble fiber is broken down by bacteria in the large intestine and does provide some calories. Soluble fiber provides about 2 calories per gram. In most cases on nutrition labels, the total amount of fiber is listed, not the amount of soluble and insoluble fiber. So it's usually a good idea to just assign 2 calories per gram of fiber to be safe. On our example label, it lists the fiber at 6 grams. So we just multiply that 6 grams times 2 calories per gram, which equals 12 calories from fiber. Now for sugar alcohols. Sugar alcohols are a type of carbohydrate that contains 0 to 3 calories per gram, depending on the type of sugar alcohol. To make it easier to calculate, just estimate 2 calories per gram for sugar alcohols. On our example label, it lists the sugar alcohols at 6 grams. So we just multiply that 6 grams times 2 calories per gram which equals 12 calories from sugar alcohols. And one note, sugar alcohols are not required to be listed on food labels unless a statement is made on the packaging label about the health effects of sugar alcohols or sugar. If there's no listing for sugar alcohols, then just ignore calculating. Now we can add up the total calories from all the carbohydrates. We have 20 calories from regular carbohydrates, plus 12 calories from fiber, plus 12 calories from sugar alcohols which gives us a total of 44 total calories from carbohydrates. The complete formula for total calories from carbohydrates is total calories from carbohydrates equals the quantity total grams of carbohydrates minus the grams of fiber minus the grams of sugar alcohols times 4 plus the grams of fiber times 2 plus the grams of sugar alcohols times 2. One thing to keep in mind is the data listed on the nutrition label is always for a serving size. If, for example, you're going to eat some chocolate candies and the label listed the serving size at 2 paces at 25 grams with 7 grams of fat, 2 grams of protein, and 13 grams of carbohydrates with 1 gram of fiber and 3 grams of sugar alcohols for that serving size. I've done the calculation for the total calories and the breakdown of calories from the macronutrients, which equals 115 total calories. If you ate 3 pieces, you would have to adjust for that. To do that, you would divide the number of pieces you ate by the serving size, 3 pieces divided by 2 pieces, which is 1.5.
Then multiply that number of 1.5 by the total calories calculated for one serving size. So 1.5 times 115 calories, which equals 172.5 calories. And here are the calculations for total calories for consuming one piece and four pieces of the candies. The main point is to always look at the serving size and make the appropriate calculations for the amount of calories. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.